Dhammagalogai of Yahweh Lilyan Elohim is always alive and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and the spirit and the joints and the marrow. And it is a critic of thoughts and intents of the heart. All scripture is God-breathed and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, and for instruction in righteousness. That the man of Lord God might be mature, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Study to show thyself a prudent to Lord God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth, or very accurately handling, this very great, unique, infallible, and ignorant great word of truth. Yehovah Malak Yami Rakas. Lord Yahweh alone shall reign forever and forever, and let the people tremble before his presence. Glory be to my Yahweh Sidkenu to the highest and peace be unto the mankind on this earth. To those who believe in my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, by faith alone in Christ alone, and great goodness and goodwill towards them who love to walk, breath by breath, in the cherishing and in the nourishing of the mentoring ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, making the will and the counsel of Lord God the Father the will is Thelema, the counsel is Bulamai. To will deliberately to be purposed in mind, to intend, that's the counsel. The will is what Lord God has made us, conforming to the image of his dear beloved Son in eternity past to the place of his glory. Though the world may reject, crying out at the rock of the doom where in the 6th century AD, not BC, they conquered the Jerusalem temple and they made it as their mosque, writing down on the north side as well as on the west side that glory be to Allah, praise be to Allah, because he hasn't chosen his son, he hasn't chosen these things. In the same way, the present Christendom, not conforming to the image of his dear beloved son, they're, for, they're forgetting the true way that is my Christ, my Lord, my Rock, my God, my Savior. They're forgetting wherewith they cry, Abba, Father. And above all, they're forgetting they are the tabernacle of the Lord. They're forgetting that we belong to Christ. The Lord God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes upon him shall never perish, says the scripture. Only Mone Gine the only eligible one to go to the cross because of his virgin birth. And these things have been revealed to us to understand. Either we can take anthropomorphism or anthropopathism. That's the counsel of the Lord. And blessed are they who are determined to look upon this Bulamai, the entire Bulamai, determined to know what is the man, what is the counsel, what is the purpose. What is that Lord God repeatedly says, how forcible are his right words. What is that Lord God, even in Deuteronomy chapter 18, in verse number 13, walk before the Lord of a God and be thami aim, perfect. We are not using the word your share. Your share is straightforward. Perfect meant to say you are straightforward in your every aspect of your breath. You are straightforward to honor Lord God's word above his name. 
Therefore we say Yehovah Malak. He is the only one that reigns forever and forever. And all the people shall tremble because he is the one who dwelt between the cherubims in the past dispensation to prove now. In the present dispensation is dwelling in you and you are the now the temple of the living Lord of our God. And as the way this Muslim people who have conquered the doom of rock could write stating to the point that he doesn't require the help of his son. The two quotations what they have been written. Certainly it pricks our heart when we read. On a note, when we consider, it says, though we are now the temple and the habitation of Lord God in Ephesians 2, verses 20 and 22, 22 the same Mount Moriah where Genesis 22, 2 is a place where Isaac was to be sacrificed. And it was also the place where Solomon Temple would be built, 2 Chronicles 3, 1. Isaac, the much loved and the only son of Abraham, is a, son of, is a type of the son of God risen from the dead. And when we have such a beautiful picture for us, the church, the temple and the habitation of Lord God, wherewith it is built upon one true foundation, that is my Christ, that is the death and the resurrection of his only Mone Gine, the only eligible one. The only Mone Gine, only begotten. Until and unless you go back to the original languages of the scriptures, you cannot interpret. You neither you can get your doubts to be cleared. Thus every day is so important for us, conforming to the image of his dear beloved son. As he says in John 1.18, Exegeomai, the origin of the word for Exegesis, day in and day out, which we need to come. Therefore he says for us in Ecclesiastes 7.29, the things what Lord God has made for us are absolutely straight, your share, upright and straightforward. But the man has come with what? Many schemes. But Mount Moriah is also the location of the Dome of the Rock one of Islam's most holy sites. The Dome of the Rock was built by the ninth Khalifa Abad al between 687 and 691 AD. It took 16 years to build. 687 and 690 AD. This Muslim mosque is built over an outcropping of bedrock called the Sacred Rock. This rock is believed by the Orthodox Jews to be the very spot where Abraham offered up Isaac and by Muslims to be the site where Muhammad ascended to heaven. Significantly, on the east side wall of the dome are written these words in Arabic. Allah is only one God. Far be it from his glory that we should have a son and call beginning of the quote, Allah is only one God. Far be it from his glory that he should have a son and God that is born in the southeast of the dome. Again on the northeast wall, northwest wall, that is southeast, this is northwest wall. Praise be to Allah who has not taken to himself a son. <laughs> Do you know what are these words, dear brother? Indirectly, they are saying, Jesus Christ is not my Christ. He is not the Messiah. There is no need for a salvation through Christ. We can work out our own salvation through our own deeds. John 3.16 has been absolutely null and void for them. Though they might be like the Rechabites in Jeremiah 36, or so close enough like the Jacobite, for like the Rechabites in the past dispensation of Jeremiah 36, Yet, in this church age, when Christ our Lord of God ascended into heaven, He said for us while on this ministry on this earth, He is the way, the truth, and the life. No one said, even Muhammad who ascended from he to heaven from that spot of Mount Moriah, didn't say that. He is not God. Neither. <laughs> He was God to ascend into heaven. He was a man like us, apart from a Christ in his hypostatic union, representing them in the shard of Christology, the Ark of the Covenant. 
good and gold. Speaking of humanity and deity, what is that? What was the Ark of the Covenant? What they had inside the Ark of the Covenant? The various aspects of rebellion sins. They did not learn man does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of the Lord our God. So what they did, they rebelled. And they kept inside a jar of manna to show forth. It is not by the word of your food that are going to live. It is by the word of the Lord of a God you are going to survive. The second thing Aaron's wrote that burden. As well as in the present it has to be the bona fide gift from the head of the department of the church to worship the Lord of a God. As we look in Numbers 1, the mustard where they come to give the genealogical records about 20 years and odd those who are ready for the Lord's battle they have been counted and from every tribe but that we meant to say when Jeremiah was 20 years of age Lord God called him for his work now in the present Christendom at the moment of salvation you receive the bona fide gift if you are being given, given this gift but your election and your calling if you can look and if you can analyze it is before the foundation of the world therefore time is short for us by the age of two you have to start up to go to your Sunday school classes like we have the Jews followed the practice by the age of 13 they used to celebrate a festival because now his son has completed Torah the same things what even Paul teaches I was separated to the law but now I'm separated to the gospel he says in Galatians in Romans 1 1 as well So we need to look, by the age of 33, your life on this earth no longer belongs to you. The day when you cross the age of 33, it's Christ that has to live in you. And this 33 years of age, you need to confirm to, me to the image of his dear beloved son. And you need to graduate in the word of the Lord of a God to the highest. To the highest. So for them in the past, from the age of 20 till to the age of 50, they would serve in the Levitical temple. But for us, when we get to the census, Lord God says in Luke 10 2, particularly, pray so that I can send my men to this harvest. The man who can feed you with knowledge and understanding, the man who can understand the instructions of Yahweh, the man who can stick by by the charge of Yahweh. No matter what, preach the truth. No matter what, diligently keep the precepts of the Lord. No matter what. Whether you may stand alone and the people may call you cult. Whether the people may call you mad. Whether the people may call you any other way. Preach the truth every day. Bible says, without fail, day by day, record the word of the Lord of a God and proclaim. And if you are here of hearing about men, Rather than fearing the mandates of the Lord God, you're kidding yourself, you're wasting your great life, you're enjoying on this earth, using the grace of the Lord of a God for your own lustful patterns, as with Ezra pays, prays in chapter 9, and he says, Though Lord you have given to us little grace, we rebelled against thee. Why? They got married to heathen ones. And the word says in Deuteronomy 23, a bastard shall not enter into the congregation of the Lord. They forgot the principle. Who is that bastard? Jewish father, pagan mother, a Gentile mother. That's it. Including the priests. He says to them, including the priests got married and some of them haven't had children. And he says, you have to separate themselves. The Holy Seed should not mix with them. Today in the present Christendom, like the way how the Muslims have written over themselves, stating to the world that Allah hasn't taken the help of his son, far be the glory of his son, because Allah is alone, and they're forgetting the principle, 
if Allah was alone for them on that doom of rock now every believer is far greater than that doom of rock and every believer is a living temple for my Christ and every believer being a living temple is conforming to the image of his dear beloved son and not only just on the southeast or northwest on all the directions in your multifaceted directions if you can go back and look in your dimensional look you will find Christ wherever you slice us and that's what the plan of Ladkar is all about in this church age. Conforming to the image of his dear beloved son, Romans 8, we have been predestined, he says. Ephesians 4, the purpose of pastor teacher given to us is that we have to come to the stature of the Lord. In Matthew 13, 52, he teaches to us, answering as disciples, you need to become the grammatius in the New Testament, he teaches to us. And in several of the parables, he says, it is good a slave should be equal like the master. And he says in Matthew 5, 43, the great words of all time in 48, stating to the point, your father in heaven is telelios, even you be telelios. And your father in heaven has been much glorified by the producing greater fruit and what is that fruit many people don't understand what is that fruit <laughs> because you find in the world today running out by men who don't even care or bother enough to consider while they're preaching the truth to cross check the original languages of the scriptures and find out what does it mean to say Jane Darby would be best translation for you to look what it meant to say in the original Greek for you from that Bible, what he has written. Even the new authors like Spira Zodi authors will help you out. In fact, indeed, you have in your smartphone my sword, his sword, interlinear texts. We know very well they're not going to work. There is a lot of difference between pneuma that's used for spirit and there is a lot of difference between light which has been used for photo and why I'm saying this because yesterday a man while I was watching his telecast he's from Texas his name is something Pastor Troy I'm not able to get his name in my mind this man goes to preach Ephesians 5 and he says in verse number 9 for the fruit of the Spirit not knowing it is not the fruit of the Spirit it has to be the fruit of the light because we are being mandated there that we are the children of light. The original Greek says for us, we are the fruit of the light. And if we are the fruit of the light, we need to conform to the image of his dear beloved son, walking as the children of light when we read in one John. Conforming to the image of his dear beloved son, walking like Christ, 1 John 2, 6, because we have in us now the sperm of Christ. And this pastor goes on to teach, it's Numa. It's the spirit, no, the original Greek says it's the light. Likewise, are going to find many pastors in and around if they're really having the gift of pastor. They don't go for exegeomai to go back and cross check and take from the original language of the scriptures. And they don't want to look either, every word being constructed. If you would explain those words itself, it's enough, rather than adding your stupid commentary in those words. When you add your commentary, you will become like many inventions, many cause bonds. Because Lord God, whatever He made, He made perfect. He made upright. He made your share. He made straight. And the one who is walking according to His rank in this race of spiritual battle of angelic conflict, 
he would always be exalted because he's walking straight forward and this great battle of life is walking every day and yet he knows Nahum 1 9 there is no second chance if ever you may think you can imagine anything against the Lord there is no second chance for you and that second chance you may include to say the way how you may have forgiveness 77 times no don't think the standards of such way the Lord God intends there the angelic conflict the standards what is intending there in that verse is angelic conflict as he gave grace and he has given still grace to understand about this angelic conflict and once we finish the millennium and we enter into the new heaven and the new earth where only the righteousness of the Lord of God dwells, he says even in 2 Peter 3, because the just for the unjust every day we are looking. How is going to give a little while of sufferings for us? And the will of Lord God the Father not only to believe in Christ but also suffer on his behalf. Do you know how great it is? Do you know how great for us to understand these passages? After a little while we suffer, we get stabilized. And the people are interested to look their miracles, their healings, their tongues and XYZ terms. But the Bible looks only one term. Have you confirmed to the image of his dear beloved son or not? The rock of the tomb, what we call the temple of Light God being built by Solomon and he said my presence shall be there dwelling in because earth is my midst. There the people have written out in southeast and northwest stating to the point Allah hasn't taken the help of his son Allah hasn't taken the praise of his son and we're not talking about the dead doom of rock where there is no ark of the covenant long back when Zerubbabel could also build the temple and being destroyed in AD 70 by the Vespasian Titus. We are not talking about them. We are talking now about this temple that's we, the church, every believer being the temple of the living Lord. Know you not you are the temple of the living Christ. Know you not that Lord God, Christ dwells in you. Know you not that you are being called to become conforming to the image of his dear beloved son. How many great passages we have. And yet you think you will get one more chance. Imagining against the Lord. Your own viewpoint of life. Considering this viewpoint of life alone is enough. Let what the people may fall in whichever way they may go. But let me go back and do my own standards of thinking you may think. Such pastors who haven't come to look the reality of the truth. Such pastors who are thinking they can have vision 2020 and they can have the great conference by including another women oriented preachers as well. It's a shame on our part that you find so many men listening to such lies. Listening to such lies. What is the fruit of light and difference between fruit of the spirit? The fruit of light talks about Agathe Sune, Dikaya Sune, and Aletheia. The fruit of the Spirit talks about in Galatians 5. And here we have the fruit of light, Fortizo. Because we are called the children of light, and the children of light have to shine in their old glory, he says in Revelation 21, because. Before the Lord of a God in that new heaven and the new earth, no sun, no moon, only the glory of this people that we come in Christ to give them the glory and the shining of the Lord. Thus, Lord God says, your residue from your beginning, I will tell what it will be. Your residue. You think you can have to say to the world, as a Christian wearing cross upon your neck, as some of the people having tattoos in their flesh, some of them they say, Jesus Christ of the Lord, 
and no conforming to his image, only by their outward appearance. In whichever manner you may think, the world has written, the doom of rock has written, where the place of the temple was being rebuilt now, not the temple, but this doom of rock. And there they have written on southeast and northwest. Allah has no son. That's in simple terms. Allah is only one and he doesn't want to have any work with this world, with this son. Forgetting the Monegine principle. Forgetting the principle of the Ark of the Covenant, divine and human. Deity as well as humanity together in one. Representing the true doctrine of kenosis. All these things. We know very well they are not believers in Christ, they don't believe. But now through Christ formed in us, conforming to the image of his dear beloved son, we need to make up our lives worthy of his calling. That's what Lord God looks. That's why we have been given such great player of Baltimore privileges. That's why we have been given the great work, though the world may go, in battling for tomb of rock. They want to build up the temple once again. We are not worried. Till the rapture of the church, nothing will occur. After the rapture of the church, in the seven years of tribulation, what may happen, that it may happen, as the Bible describes. But right now, the exact representatives of the future glory, the exact representatives of the temple of the Lord our God, conforming to the image of His dear beloved Son, is what you and I have to be in this church age. If anyone could look, where is the sanctuary? It is every believer who is a sanctuary. Where is the Holy of the Holies? It is the shaking of my Christ dwelling in us, and that's the light. Even if it could look on that holy of the holy place, the light was Christ. If not, it would be utter darkness. The same principle in Ephesians 5, what is teaching to us, you are the children of light and the fruit of the light. And the fruit of the light, Hagate Sune, Dikaya Sune, and Alatiya, Hagate Sune, divine good, good which it's of having intrinsic value. Dikaya Sune, the holiness and the righteousness of my Christ being bound together as justice of the Lord, could represent at one cherub the righteousness at the other cherub, both together we call the holiness of my Christ. And then furthermore we have one more, Alatiya, what it is, all the time light clears, crystal clears for the exposition of your manifestation of lies. That's what he says, reprove the works of darkness. And what is the work of darkness, dear brethren? He says, Aglanko, reprove. And why you are reproving and how you can reprove? Proving that you are the children of light, you can now reprove to them. Because that's the authority you have. That's the great privilege you have. That's what he says, reprove Aglanko. And what a great word it is for us to look in those standards. As many people don't understand about these passages, yet they think they are capable of teaching, yet they think they are capable of rising up, yet they think they are really worthy enough. And they become pastors and the people who are listening to such doctrine. They don't go like the Barians to go back and cross-check what does it say in the original Hebrew or Greek. We even doubt far less they could go back home and check if there is any categorical exposition of the word what they have given with the exegesis, whether it could match the standards of the divine mind of Christ or not. They don't even go back and cross-check and look. They're just making up their life in the exact terms of the doom of rock, what they have written. We are only Christians, we are the temple, we are coming to the temple. And we show in and around, front and back, left and right, Christ hasn't formed, Christ will not get formed in us. Because you are grieving and squelching and waxing. Because you are seeking your will, not the will of Lord God the Father. 
even the pastors when we read in acts chapter 20 and verse number 27 i haven't shunned to declare to you the entire counsel of the lord our god when he uses the word counsel he has made up his mind to teach them what is the will of lord god the father because he knows very well the thoughts of the heathen will vanish off they will not stand before the thoughts and the counsel of lord god and if lord god has designed the counsel for us in the church age that every believer is a living temple every believer will reside in the divine dinosphere and every believer has to have a work that is so great to form in them the character of christ through the power of lord god the holy spirit conforming to the image of his dear beloved son at every breath they go and not only that to the stature of christ they need to come so that the creation is awaiting for the manifestation of these adult sons then how and why yet you're not looking neither listening nor considering the true bona fide work of the pastor teacher in this church age I haven't sent them yet their answers the scripture if they were of mine they would seek my things says the Lord but they were of not us. Therefore they departed from us, he says in 1 John. Why they depart? Why they look not into the standards of right teachings? Because they love the world. They come to teach you with the flattering words. They love to wear a cloak of covetousness. They know they can never say, Lord God is witness for my messages. They can never say that word. Thus, they are also representing you as a doom of rock. And this doom of rock, what they are representing to you, you are showing on your faint face, no sun in you. He hasn't taken the help of the sun. And back face, we are showing still Christ cannot be formed in us because we are conforming to Antichrist. <laughs> That's what the world is running. We shall continue to this discourse after this prayer. Sanctify yourselves to look upon the pale wonders of this great word. Infinitely divine Holy Father, the things that are preserved and kept for us today in spiritual manner, as we are going to dig and take these things, O Lord, Father, we pray that Lord God, the Holy Spirit, will challenge and bless us for this message. May your Christ name be praised, Sovereign Lord. Amen. On the doom of rock, the southeast, they say Allah is only one God. Far be it from His glory that He should have a son. That He should have a son. The prophecy of Isaiah when he said, Long back, virgin birth of my Christ. Long back, Genesis 3.15. The great picture of my Lord. When he taught for us very very specifically what will be that the woman's seed shall crush the head and thou shall crush his heel that's it that's the great beginning of the promise and they don't want to say far be it from his glory that he should have a son this is the world the world hates us because they don't have the truth the present Christendom people are entertaining for you the gospel which is not according to Christ, which is not according to the true gospel. They have forgot the truth of my Lord where the, the concepts of entire soteriology. It may start with redemption, expiation, propitiation, unlimited justification or atonement or whichever manner of imputation, whatever you take, the entire concept of soteriology, the cross has been eliminated for them. And what they're teaching, do you know, dear brethren? Come and pay for us, you will be saved. Give this, do this, you will be saved. The religion activities works. The religions, where they came along with their concepts, what we read in Revelation chapter 20, the two books, one book for the Lamb of Christ, the other book being the book of works, in the same manner of Isaiah 64, 6, the religion ministers cloth. That's what, we, what it says, your good deeds. In Second Peter, he says for us, your salvation in First Peter 2, 
he says for us salvation is not by gold and silver but by the precious blood of my Christ they forgot that and they come and bound up to religion because in Christianity it is what we have been said we come by the relationship with Lord God the Father it is no way a religion but in the religion people love to gain the appreciation of God by their good deeds and that's what the things pertaining to the gospel today they are teaching you come and give some tithes you will be happy you come and do this work you will be saved but they have forgot it is through proper repentance it is through proper change of mind it is through proper work in the Lord wherewith you have to come that is you are no longer the same when you have heard the gospel you have been dead to this world you have been risen in Christ that's the true gospel and you come there by what by grace through faith not of works lest any man should boast you come by what faith alone in Christ alone once saved always saved and you haven't met the true gospel yet through my Christ so that you could transform your entire life and that entire life is metamorphomai not metaschematizo unlike satan in second corinthians 10 what we read it also will transform but it's not the same process of romans 12 1 2 and 3 what we read for transform it is metamorphomai there but here satan is metaschematizo once do you know what is the meaning of metaschematizo once only outward transformation but inward it is still dead we don't want such we don't want such gospel we don't want such men we need men who would love to become like Paul after his conversion through Saul. We need like men that he hasn't to be the same like the way when we read in Genesis 17, Abraham. The self same day he says he went for circumcision. Because Christ our Lord our God changed his name from Abraham to Abraham. He never called him again Abraham, he called him Abraham. Lord God intends that change in you the action of that change he proved in the self same day we read twice he went to circumcise the self same day he did not tarry even that Ethiopian eunuch he did not wait he did not go again to the Roman Catholic festivals or what we can call today saying to the point we will go for confirmation we will go for sprinkling we will do this we will do that no he did not go for the Jewish festivals over there what did he do he came back and he said where is the water how can I be saved here is the water said the Philip and he said what can hinder us come let's go that will be the true repentance that will be the true gospel that will be the true change if you haven't met that gospel, if you haven't met that Christ, because you are still the same, you are still the same old sin nature reigning in you. Either you have to be ignorant, arrogant, as we read yesterday in Psalms, in Proverbs 15, in verse number 19. And your entire way of life, you're making up yourself an hedge of thorns. You might be in those terms. You're making yourself hedge of thorn. Because you don't want to use your rank as a church age, what you are. Your rank is something superior. Your rank is something where Lord God said, I have given you the authority, exuse your authority to manifest it out. So that when Satan challenged my Christ in his temptation of the second word, Satan said, I have all the authority to whomsoever I will, I will give it. Just bow down to me and worship to me. And what did Christ, the Lord our God, say in his humanity? Get away out, you Satan. What do you think of yourself? We shall pay our service to the Lord. We shall show forth our divine service only to God the Father in heaven. And he knew very well the same exuse authority what Satan was claiming to have. He has given for you and me today. For what? To redeem this world. How? By making them disciples, not just preaching the gospel. And how are you going to increase in your epinosis knowledge to the manifestation what we read yesterday in Colossians 1, 9 and 10? Going ahead from the discipleship program and becoming scribes, grammatias of the New Testament. 
And that's how Lord God wants every believer to be changed. Your money will perish with you. When Simon got in Acts chapter 8, you said, Do you think you can buy this gift with money? Today there are people who are promising even to the unbelievers one step closer to heaven because they have given some donations. That's very, very wrong. It's faith alone in Christ alone. If there is no faith alone in Christ alone, then there is no salvation for you. Lord God so loved the world. His only money, guinea, no matter whatever they may write upon the doom of rock, we seldom care about it. What is this living temple written now? What does your forehead talk about? What does your chest talk about? Have you put upon the entire armor of the Lord of a God in this intensified stage of the angelic conflict? Have you become the written living, living epistle of Lord God, the Holy Spirit? Have you written upon you that when the people could look, you are the children of light and conform to the image of his dear beloved Son? That's what you need to write. You need to write without Christ, we can do nothing. You need to write without Christ, I am nothing. You need to write without Christ, there is no salvation for me. The only begotten Son of my Lord God, who sent for me, though we let sinners. Christ died as a substitute of spiritual death for us, says Romans 5 12. And 2 Corinthians 5 17 through 21, what a great passage we have. The one who knew no sin was made sin on behalf of us, so that we might have the righteousness of Christ in us imputed not working imputed and you receive this eternal life by what knowing Christ by what and how by grace alone through faith alone in Christ alone and that's what the world should look and what a great privilege we have do you know dear brother and we are surviving in the midst of these unbelievers who are dead who are spiritually dead, they are still dichotomous, but we are trichotomous in Christ, and yet you act as if you are still dichotomy, not conforming to the image of his dear beloved son. What a great pain it would be for my Christ. Father, as he calls you, you conform to the image of his dear beloved son. And yet you act and walk like dichotomy. You haven't met the true gospel. You haven't met my true Christ. You haven't met the true word of the Lord of a God being taught properly. Word upon word, line upon line, precept upon precept. You haven't even desired to send for you those pastor teachers who couldn't even let you go to let go even iota upon iota, carrier upon carrier. But rather they would come to teach to you every day, every day, every day without fail. You haven't met such my Christ. And yet you think you are a Christian. And you give your entire time walking in lies, refuging in lies. And what a great pain it would be when we all stand at the judgment seat of Christ to such great grace bestowed upon us, to such great reality of my Christ given to us, Today, he said, today, today, now is the day of salvation. Today is the day of salvation. Today, if you are a believer and yet understood this concept, today is a time for you to use rebound and come back and be in the fellowship of Lord God, the Holy Spirit. Do not let go your grace in vain. Do not let go your time for filthy lucre. Do not let go under the clock of covetousness your life. Do not let go and be yourself under the flattering words of deceivers. Because these are paralagizomai and fitanlogia, miscalculation of your true spiritual life before my Christ. We don't need any commentary to add. Because the word of the Lord of God is enough to expound for us in the original Hebrew, Greek and Aramaic. Every word, go back and dig in the TDNT or Walter Bauer lexicons in the Old Testament, Gessinius or the New International Standards which have come up now with that great dictionaries. Go back and dig that word and go and search the truth. And come and teach that word. Expound that word even with Spirozodiatos notes which are so good for you to go back and teach. If you don't have the time, go back and look and study at least, far less having your time to spend to learn what we call as gimmicks. And this gimmicks won't stand before the Lord. Do you know what does he say in Matthew 7? Workers of iniquity. 
He doesn't spare you, dear brother, and he calls you workers of iniquity. And those who have failed even to look what are the standards of Bible doctrine, that's what you're dying foolishly, he meant to say. Because you're sluggard enough, you're still sluggish. Therefore, the great passage, what we have read yesterday in Proverbs chapter 15, it should certainly prick our minds where these men are standing today. You know what the Bible calls those who don't conform to his standards? Lord God, the Father in heaven, calls them as this man. When we read the way of the slothful, it calls as a slothful. The Hebrew word meant to say, Atsel, A-T-S-E-L, strong number, 6102, origin from the word 6101, and it is Atsal. What is the word of Atsal? He is to be an idly indolent person who has made his mind for devil's palace. Not devil's workshop, devil's palace. Why? No word of God, no light. He has sluggard, he's sluggish, he's lazy, says the word. And what is that? The course of life, the entire purpose of his life, what it is? The way of the slothful is an hedge of thorns. And what is the word hedge? It meant to say masuka, and that word masuka meant to say for us as a fence, the word as you are taken for your protection, the word what you have taken for your formation. Masuka. And the people who love to expound about the tabernacle, which I say, no, not. Because they are expounding the tabernacle, let them teach the things of the tabernacle. But let them expose now to look what is the head being sluggish enough they have made the name of my Christ not to shine in your lives. They have made even the word of the Lord of a God not to be living temples, walking temples of my Christ in the midst of you. Some person would say, I went to Israelite, I bought some information for me. And what they would say, they would love to talk about this Holy of the Holies. Let them talk about the present Dome of Rock. What is written on the Northeast and Southwest. Let them learn why they haven't given a chance for the sun. Let them learn what the church age is talking for us in the player of Paul privileges that we have been called to be the temple of the living Lord of our God and let them make them know to understand the manifestation of the adult sons and the creation is awaiting for the adult sons with great wailingly reported. The creation is awaiting for you and for me. And how the creation is awaiting, not just for the techna, it is for the who has adult sons. Why these adult sons? They have to conform to the image of his dear beloved son. In that time, they may write upon the doom of rock for us, which is still existing. No need, no need of the son. But we say without Christ, that is son, the second person of the Trinity, who has been revealed to us, we cannot. We cannot survive without him. And this slothful, sluggish, lazy man walking up and down, kissing the place where Lord Christ walked and making them to have the information about this tabernacle, making them to have the information where Christ my Lord God was, making the people to go and take baptism in the places where he took baptism. They're kidding themselves. And they think it's holy. Lord God said, a promise to the past dispensation. But now everywhere you go, you are the living temple. You are the holy of the holies. You need to go and make disciples of all the nations. Don't just kid with them. And say, if you are taking baptism over there, and then you will be absolutely filled with the Spirit. And you say, if you once again get married in the Cana, so that your wife will not have any other affairs and you could be happy. You're kidding yourself. A live example I can tell to you. The couple, they said they got married once again in the same place. But when we look at the lifestyle of this woman, she has all illegal affairs. Though she's having many daughters in her life. And she's ready enough 
to go and be a prey for one more false pastor teacher. Not only affair with the other man who is angry to her, and she also wants another pastor to be with her. And where is the holiness when they got married in that Kana again? Where is the holiness once again when they got baptized in the water? Where is the Holy Spirit in them? And these people, they're getting into an hedge, dear brother, and wake up. You are now the living temple. You are now should be the walking temple by walking Bibles in you. What a great pain it would be for us when the people will write upon the dome of rock. Praise be to Allah because he hasn't taken the help from his son. Praise be to Allah, he's only alone. He doesn't have anyone apart from the son. <laughs> he no needs any son. If in Genesis chapter 17, Abraham wouldn't ask about Ishmael, that's what, you know, these are our enemies. Enemy territory we can call. We're talking spiritually, not physically enemies. Because the children of born women will persecute the children of free women, we read in the Bible. That's what the entire passage is for us in Romans chapter 7, in chapter 8, again in Galatians chapter 3, we read that. In the same standards, when we look, we find Lord God kept them for us like a bokim to understand. We haven't made ourselves entirely necrosate. Colossians 3 5, put to death our flesh deeds. In Judges chapter 2, we read this word bokim at this place. Because they did not annihilate completely the Hittites, the Jebusites, the Hewites, the Canaanites, the Perizzites. And they were with them all the days of their life with thorns and thistles. The Israelites left the glory. And you know what a great pain it would be when the Lord God would say, Once again I will get that salvation in my Zion for my beauty uses the word in Isaiah 46, 13. What a great word it is. When he uses that word, once again in this place, the salvation of my Christ will be proclaimed. And the word when he uses, he teaches to us to understand, it is for my glory, Israel. What is that glory? It is tipara. It meant to say splendor, glory, rank of renown, which is glorifying, which is of a, such a great beauty, honor and majesty because of such great adorning work what Christ has done to them and for whom they lost the loss for the Muslims when the first man was been made he lost for whom for Satan today even you you have been made for the glory of the Lord of a God with such great tifara and for whom you are losing because of your sluggish hedges what you are performing because of your ignorance not to study the word because of your great standards not to understand the truth what are you performing? You are losing to your own old sin nature, being not yet put to death. This body is the temple of the living Lord of a God. Do not be in excess of wine. What you eat that matters with your health. Lord God says, be alert. The reasons why he calls us to be alert because we have a great battle to fight. We have to grow up more and more in the knowledge of Bible doctrine to the epinosis knowledge so that the world could realize in us now not only just to conform to his image of his dear beloved son but we need to be sealed with the words that we are the Christ image on this earth and the world should be witnessed and the witness of the world should tell yes when I look him I shall look in him the Christ and his deeds of his love of great mercy, long suffering, patience. I see in him Christ. Not only as a person of charity, love, but also as a great, excellent teacher. Also as a great leader, as so as a great philanthropist. The people are dead, that's what we said, the dichotomy, the unbelievers, they do not know what is the divine plan. Make them, win them by love and the deeds of love. We have something great, dear brethren. 
we have something very very unique dear brethren and yet what are we finding we are finding this man who are sluggish enough to open up the Bible and read upon their knees and take every word of the Lord our God and understand what it is They're sluggish enough not to look. They're sluggish enough not to consider. They're so much sluggish enough even to lift their sword as the way when Lord God filtered out of those 10,000 men, 300 men. They kept apart their sword and they knelt and they drank the water but the others lapped the water. The lapping ones who kept their sword with them so that they could be alert if there is an enemy attack upon them. The remaining 9,700 men kept their sword aside and Lord God disqualified them. Do you know what is the meaning of that? Day in and day out be prepared with the word of the Lord our God. Get every thought into captivity for Christ. If there's an enemy attack, you should be ready to take your sword and fight. But those people left the sword and they came to drink the water, kneeling down, though they may be kneeling. Disqualified. In the same manner, people today, they may be kneeling. People today, they may be understanding, even I am kneeling down and reading the Bible. <laughs> but you are not practicing the Bible in your life. The word says, disqualified not ready to be yet qualified you're disqualified and this is the way you think you need we are having 9700 men out of those 10,000 in our pulpits but practicing the truth 300 men they are missing and Lord God chose those 300 men and this 300 men will practice every day to come and teach the truth, no matter what, whether it may rain or shine. Whether the people may love to listen to the word of the Lord of a God or not, their duty is to preach. They will do it. Because for every day grace bestowed upon them, they are answerable to the Lord of a God for the grace given to them, not to men. What men have except breath in their nostrils, says the scripture. What men are worth of? Do you want to impress men? Do you want to please men? Apostle Paul says, I would never be a bond slave to the Lord if I were to please men and impress men. You know what are those words? Because he knew those who are wise in their own conscience, those who profess to be wise, they are fools, he knew. It is more hope for a man to believe or to have hope in a fool than to the one who thinks he's wise in his own eyes these are the 9700 men and the christendom has been laid down by such men who think reverend is enough most reverend is enough right reverend is enough doctorate is enough Forgetting the right principle and the work of the pastor teacher, though the Southern Baptist or the Northern Baptist of the a of African American churches being dividing themselves and they want to have this title as a clergy for the way what they call reverence, we seldom care about that. Do you know why? Because these are Protestant churches, which is not in the Bible for you, how you can keep that as your title. Therefore, these men have changed. These men have failed. These men are like those 9,700 men where Lord God disqualified them not to enter. He said, send them out. They are not according to the word. They are not having in them the weapon. And in the present Christendom, people are running behind that 9,700 men. And you know what they do? Go back and look into their accounts of the pastors if they call themselves as pastors or miracle healers. These idiotic morons, the money what they have taken into their hands, if they would come and teach the right word and if they would develop the world in the deeds of love like a philanthropist, there could certainly be many people having to look at least there is some Christianity in this world and this Christianity can show forth the way of light. At least few could change. But do you know what they do with that money? They're happy to harass women. They're happy to keep illegal properties. They're happy even to kill their own brothers using other men hired 
hired robbers or thieves who could who could be murderers they're happy enough to go behind the bars and yet they're happy enough not to use that money for the poor of the people for the welfare of the people to spread the gospel of my Christ never they even come close enough even to think and that they make them to go and depend upon the schemes of the government minority funds and what they will do with the funds that they organize every week and collect the offerings they say for the welfare of the church what welfare in first Corinthians 16 2 we find for the poor and the needy how many are giving for the poor and the needy If there is anyone in the church who is needy enough, who could again help back again the church by paying them back the money what has been taken out faithfully, without any charge of interest, because for brethren we cannot give for interest, says the word. Building and stabilizing his life, making him to grow up, making him to become stand in his own feet. Again, he could be another help for other people when he's stabilized no help how about the missionaries of the church when they go to other parts of the world the church has to support with that money offerings have been collected to establish the kingdom of my Christ not for your own belly to be fatty one and what they're forming the hedge why because they're still sluggish they love to expound saying that we have been to Israelites we have done this we have done that <laughs> if you haven't exposed yourself in the word of the Lord of a God you would fall for such idiotic rituals which don't have any reality in them what are we do going there doesn't the word say where two or three have been gathered in my name I am in the midst of them do you think in the dome of rock or the ark of the covenant you are still found there The Dome of Rock in the southeast and the northwest, it has been written. Allah is alone. He doesn't have any son. And they have been saying that upon the Dome of Rock, Prophet Muhammad has been taken up or ascended into heaven. And they consider it as most sacred place. Strategies of Satan to deceive men. It is what we have to be now for Christ. It is what we have to be now, conforming to the image of his dear beloved son in this living temple of Christ. It is not just to conform to his image. It is not just that creation is awaiting for the manifestation of the adult sons. It is not just that you have come now to be equivalent like Christ, Ephesians 4.13. It is not just like that you walk like Christ, 1 John 2.6. It is what the world should witness that now Christ is in you, the hope of glory. Absolute standards of glory is in you because we know now. We live for Christ. We die, it's profitable because we live or die for Christ. And we know very well the power of his resurrection because Christ has been resurrected in our lives. Not like foolish people for the filthy look care of our filthy gain. We're coming to preach. These are the people who are minding earthly things. 9,700 men disqualified because they left the weapon and they knelt. There may be people who are kneeling but not with the word of the Lord of a God in their mind to get every thought into captivity for Christ. Such prayers cannot be answered either. Though they may get great promises in their prayer life, Lord God wants to get every thought into captivity for Christ no matter what it is. No matter whatever you may think it could be great, it's not until unless you get every thought into captivity for my Christ. No matter whatever programs you may run, if it is not in accord with day by day exposition of the word of the Lord of a God, you have lost it. It's every day, literally 24 hours if it has been finished. Again tomorrow morning you have to come every day. Again day after tomorrow morning you have to come every day.
And yet these people do not even know the reverence to pay to Christ. Now where they have built this doom of rock, these Mohammedanians, they have come to say from sunrise to sunset, even in those 40 days of Ramadan, they don't want to even touch water or take spit into their mouth. They're so pure in their practices. But yet these people who have been called to give proper reverence to my Christ, forming the image of the Lord of our God in you, that is Christ my Savior. You say, we are still alive to the old sin nature. Therefore, the people cannot get in you, Christ. The reason being very simple. You haven't put to death. Necrosate. Again, if there is an idiotic moron preacher who would say instead of light the spirit of Ephesians 5, 4, 5, 11, or 5, 9, he would also say, Colossians 3, 5, it says mortify. And he would build up with his expert vocabulary of meaning any Oxford dictionary or any Webster dictionary. And you want to go back and look, what is the word mortify? You will not get that because English is a translation. In the Greek it says necrosate, that's the word put to death. Necrosate, put to death. Put to death the deeds of your flesh. Till you are put to death, till you have met the right Christ, till you have met the right gospel, you will not be the same. Apostle Paul changed. For three days and three nights without water and food, he prayed to the Lord. Today, if you have any such great experience, will you eagerly wait? Will not your hearts weep till you could finish that work? Lord, how much work is still left over? Lord, I am still wasting my grace. Lord, let me finish this work first. How many handicapped who are inspired, saying to the point, it's all in the game of mind. And the Bible says, renovation of the standards of your thinking and yet you don't look upon the great promises the great deeds the great works the great wonders what he has done because you don't want to improve your mind in this great unique dispensation of the church age the power given to us is limitless the world is not enough far less you can think the doom of rock could write something on it on the southeast or northwest the world will not believe in Christ. Something you may think like that. No. The power of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, works through you. You are the recipient of this grace. Every believer has been given equal privilege and equal opportunity, provided they walk in the sphere of divine dynasphere, using the privacy of the priesthood to confess their sins. And 1 John 1 9 is not a license to sin, but a license to sow back the Lord of a God. Without that 1 John 1 9, we cannot come to serve my Christ. Because we require grace to learn more doctrine. We do sin either by thought, word, or deed. We know that very well. But we cannot be far away from my Christ by sinning and grieving and squelching in cosmic one and cosmic two. We have to come every day to carry his cross and to be following his disciples. If the word of the Lord of God continue in us, he says. Indeed, you are my disciples. And what a great things we have to learn. As Christ formed in you, do the people look Christ in you? Your outward appearance like Christ. Some people during the time of this resurrection day and Good Friday, that's what they call it, has to be Good Wednesday rather than Good Friday. They come up with their concepts to nail on cross like Christ. You may do that. But in your inner man has Christ formed in you. If Lord God hasn't been resurrected in you, if you haven't known the power of his resurrection in you, that's what he says in Philippians 3. Not that I have attained yet, I need to run for that. He's running for his physical resurrection, but the spiritual resurrection, he says, the hope of glory, the power of resurrection, I have experienced that. 
It's not just Christ could be formed in you, but his character has to be emulated and resurrected in your lives. So that we could be answer to such doom of rock men who would say, Allah hasn't need the Christ, but it should be in written in their mind to understand. Yehovah has made, not just Allah, Yehovah has made every believer to be Christ in them formed. And they should know what a Christian is. A Christian in the sense of disciple. They should understand what a true believer is in the sense of becoming living epistles to Christ. And everyone should witness in the power of Lord God, the Holy Spirit. What a great leaders we are, what a great teachers we are under authority, and what a great men we are expounding the kindness and the charities of the Lord our God to the highest. Everywhere you go, you have been said to spread forth the fragments of his knowledge. Everywhere you go, like a sweet-smelling fragments through your lives. Everywhere you go, everywhere. No matter what, dear brethren, the counsel of the Lord God alone will stand. Whether you may allow to take it or not. And there we read, dear brethren, Christian, what a voice, disciple, what a voice there is in all of this to the earth, to the ear of faith. How Satan would try to darken and obscure what the Father has been pleased to reveal. The Son is built on this rock, he said, the true confession that Jesus Christ is Son of the living Lord God, Matthew 16, 16. The gates of hell shall not prevail against the glorious temple that he is building, that's we the church. And yet, the people are not interested to know. And they are still looking, the Millennium Temple, they are still looking, the temple to be constructed. And they forgot that you are the temple of the living Lord of our God. On the southeast and the northwest, if they would write, saying that no son, to the year of faith on this earth, they would understand. Son is in us, that is Christ being formed in us, and we are the living examples, living epistles, confirming to his image. And though the creation is awaiting for the manifestation of these adult sons, we aren't just disciples, we, haven't, we have grown from discipleship into the program of great scribes or Kramatias in Christ. We should be a reply for them. If they would come to throw a brick we should be the people as the living stones we are the living stones to break those bricks into pieces think about this is just dear brother as we shall come back and continue tomorrow in the same divine presence of Lord God the Father understanding what is the pain that has been left in our hearts when Christ our Lord our God is not been magnified neither honored that which is due unto him and how many days more you want to form the hedge of sluggish activities the hedge what we can call and that hedge has been made with thorn bushes we read in Matthew in Proverbs 15 19 but the way of upright your share is always salal is going to walk in the highway of holiness every believer has been called to be the walk in the highway of holiness far less they could hedge themselves in the thorn bushes of such sluggish, sluggards, lazy men who are ideally indolent. Think about this issues, dear brethren. We shall come back and continue tomorrow because in the same Proverbs 15 we read, A righteous one will make his father glad, but the foolish one will make his mother shame. one who is righteous will make in this church age being called up a father God the father his glory to be shown and the mother that is the church where you can find false pastor teachers will make to weep at the judgment seat of Christ while here on this earth to pay many sorrows which way you want to go you decide as we shall come back and continue tomorrow with our head bowed and eyes closed, the closing moments have been dedicated to those who are here without Christ, without hope and without eternal life. In our
Lord, until you give the prayer of your soul, that you believe upon my Christ, my Lord, my Rock, my Savior. That is the moment itself, you shall have this eternal truth. This eternal truth for is for very simple, believe in Christ, you shall be saved. Whereas for the believer, the greatest matter is to grow up in grace and in the knowledge of Bible doctrine, wherewith you shall learn to acquire the possession of the truth, and the truth shall set you free. And for the pastor teacher, the greatest merit is to carry the Sothan Lagan, herald the word in season and out of season, because the Dharma to my witnesses will be been called. The number one Dharma to my witnesses in well infinity, followed by Bible in our hands, and number two Dharma to my witnesses are heroes. If there are no heroes, dear brother, not worry besides nature, the entire angelic course will be witnesses. And what is our work? Our work is to rightly divide the word of the Lord of our God, no matter however the chips may fall. So which way you want to go, dear brother, and you decide, as we shall come back and continue tomorrow. Infinitely Divine Holy Father, what a great privilege it is for us to learn about the revolution of the lesson to be taught by Duma Fork. Help us, Father, to manifest it to every cell in the facet of this body. But it is Christ who reigns forever and forever. And it is Christ who has formed in us to the praise of your glory. If they could write on the southeast or the northwest, it is no Christ. Yet we should be the people to show forth to them, O Lord, that Christ has formed in us, conforming to his image, growing up in his stature. What you have desired, that the slave should be like the master and producing more fruit in us. Help us, Father, to stand in those terms and to train up according to their word, so that, Sovereign Lord, we shall not be ashamed when we stand in their presence, but we have done that which is right in thy sight, O Lord. As we could wit as a witness Job, we could also witness in our lives and say, Good and faithful steward, sit at my right hand. For this, O Lord, everything, no matter what, all to the glory of thee. And you work all things together for good, only for the glory of thee. Help us to stabilize in the word, in the power of Lord God, the Holy Spirit. And wait and watch the deliverance of the Lord. The pain in our heart, O Lord, people perishing without knowing their grace. Help us to manifest that grace to these people as much as we can. By daily intake of the word and daily output of the word, as best as they can understand. In Christ's matchless, purest, gracious name we pray, Father. And Lord God, the Holy Spirit, and it challenges by this message.